STEM educator, Nancy Oakley. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, great to have you here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I was just trying to figure out how long uh, Ausgate's been here, but it's got to be uh, nearly half a century. December 31st will be um, our 39th, 39th anniversary, yes. And can I take a moment to uh, say, uh, where's the camera? Hi, Dad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep. so, hey, Ray. Yes. <laughs> I first met Ray probably 39 years ago. Uh, they were, it was just as, as Allscape was about to open. Uh, I ran into him in Adrian, mm -hmm. and I've known him ever since. Great guy, Amazing. great Oliver family, awesome. Yeah. And what you guys have done really for the community with Allscape uh, is tremendous. Yeah, I think one thing, and I don't think it's, it gets said enough, is it's a safe space for kids, right? And parents are always looking for safe, uh, safe environments to uh, to have their children, and you guys provide that space. Thank you so much. Our goal is clean, safe, friendly, fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. healthy. Yeah. yeah. And oh, it turns out uh, educational. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's right. <laughs> yes. So you're the uh, STEM director. I am. And um, talk talk a little bit about the programs that you're offering, and kind of how that how that program is is going. So we license a awesome STEM program for field trips. It is nationally accredited. It is the highest standard you can get. And it is really, really exceptional because it's very hands-on. Mm -hmm. It's very interactive. They get to fidget and play and stomp and all kinds of things, but they learn so much. When you question them at the end, mm -hmm. they actually have answers for things like static energy and things that you wouldn't think a third grader could actually explain back to you. Because I think having it be interactive, they really learn a lot. And then they get to go out and they get to skate for two hours. So mm -hmm. they also have, you know, they go back to the school nice and tired and can mm -hmm. <laughs> finish up their day. Do you sign up individually or are you looking for groups of kids to sign um, up? How's we do schools. Okay. Um, and we can do, we have really expanded so that we can deal with some transportation issues and do more than one grade. Mm -hmm. um, we can also include lunch with that for a small additional fee. We do do ca STEM camps usually in the summer and sometimes on like Christmas break mm -hmm. and Easter break. Um, so that then if you're just want to do your individual child because their school for some reason yeah. hasn't signed up yet, yeah. <laughs> we have that option too. Yeah, Mark, I know you guys do uh, school fundraisers and nonprofits. I was at uh, your Michigan Center night uh, yes. a few weeks ago, but yeah. great way for the for communities to raise some money but also have some fun. It is. It's a great, uh, good time. It's a lot of fun. It's very, very easy for them. All they have to do is sign up. We do them on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursdays from 6 to 8. Um, I have one group that's so large, they bring like 300 students in. Wow. And um, it's a fundraiser for them. They can make a lot of money. And so we let them in half an hour early um, just to get everybody in. And they have a lot of fun. And it's real simple. We help design the flyer for them. And basically all they had to do is post it, come up with a mm -hmm. theme bring a few door prizes and mm -hmm. it's easy as that. So I yeah. wrote checks for over $2,000 last year. That's amazing. Yes, yes. And it's not just for schools. Right. Nonprofits can do this. Yes, yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure there's a lot of nonprofits that are looking for a little extra money for one project or another. Oh, I think mm -hmm. pretty much every nonprofit. Is. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So you guys have a lot of upcoming events and that's one thing about Allscape is there's no shortage of events, but let's talk about uh, what we have upcoming. Well, starting tomorrow, we have a Girl Scout STEM uh, program going on yes. uh, from 5.30 to 8. Uh, but this weekend, uh, we have a costume contest, uh, costume party from 2 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday with a costume mm -hmm. contest at 4 o'clock. And uh, the costume winner wins 100 game credits. Ooh. Yeah, so. Nancy, what's your costume? Yeah. I'm a witch. Okay. Mark? I am DJ Kumo. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> and you've already, I know you've both already been in costume for the staff party, so you'll be ready to go. Yes. Yes. Very good. What's your costume? I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. Bart? All right. Bart doesn't dress uh, up. Okay. No, he does not. Uh, he doesn't dress up. Um, mm. I've attended so many birthday parties at All Skate, and it's so fun, not just for the kids, but for the parents, right? Because there's so much room for the parents to hang out, socialize, watch the kids. Food. Food. Again, a safe space. And uh, I don't think you're ever too old, really, to have a birthday party at All Skate. You can even have adult. Yeah. Um, actually, usually it's mm -hmm. not skate parties, usually it's laser tag for adults. Okay. Because our laser tag is state of the art. It's a lot of fun for adults and kids. So we've been doing more adult type 
parties as well. So kids, adults, everybody. All right, a lot of reasons to go to Allskate uh, for all ages. Hope you guys have a great fall season. Very busy at Allskate. Check them out, 1313 West North Street and online and social media. Thanks guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for Thank having you. us. STEM educator Nancy Oakley and Allscape Fund Center owner Mark Oliver. More of the morning show after this.